Good morning. Good morning. Slept in my makeup again. So annoying. Good morning. Hey, girl. Hey. How's everybody doing this morning? Good morning. Back to the grind. Monday, Monday. It's Monday. Oof. Some funky hair there, folks. Um... Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee Talk. It is Monday, November something or other, uh, 12th maybe. Oh, yeah, yesterday was 11, 11, 11. Isn't that crazy? 11, 11, 11. Um, supposedly it was like super good luck. Um, hi, Andrew. Um, praying for everybody. Continued uh, prayers for everybody in California. Um, and, uh, I just started watching, if you could believe this, the West Wing. How did I never watch the West Wing? I love Aaron Sorkin. The writing is so good. Not to mention the cast. How did they ever get a cast that good? Ugh. Martin Sheen is amazing. They're all amazing. Rob Lo all of them. I can't stop watching. I'm on like, I started yesterday and I'm already on episode like eight. So, so, so good. If you have never seen The West Wing and you have Netflix, you must watch it. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, right. 11, 11, 18. Wow. I am... You're right. It's not 11, 11, 11. I'm a loser. Um, yesterday I had horrible heart pain. I almost had to go to the hospital. Chest pain. It was terrible. Um, and I'm not sure how I feel right now, if I'm being honest. I am aware that, sadly, Gerard Butler lost his home. Um... Luckily, Gerard Butler can afford to rebuild. I'm more concerned about the hundreds of people who lost everything who don't have Gerard Butler money. Um, thank you for all your concern about Michael. He is... Pushing through. Um, he will be fine. It hasn't come up again, so... I think he's fine. Um, so yeah, yesterday I had horrible chest pain that was shooting into my back. I took a million heartburn medicines um, that didn't help. And finally, um, I just went to sleep because I was like, if I'm going to die, I'll just die in my sleep. But I drank half cup, half of my cup of coffee this morning and then stopped because I'm scared it's going to start again. It was horrible. Um, okay, anyway, I want to talk about how to stop reacting from habit. Acting and reacting from habit. Um, I, hey bud, good morning, sweet boy. I spent years acting and reacting from habit. I just, it was easy for me. I was in self-preservation mode, almost like autopilot. Somebody said something I didn't like, I threatened to beat them up. They stopped talking, problem solved, but not really. Problem was never really solved. Um, and I've had to do a lot of work to become a different person, a lot. Um, the first thing that I had to do was practice noticing my reaction to what people said. It, you know, um, 
people would say things and I would have an immediate reaction. I had to practice noticing that and being like, okay. Like, I'm, I'm having a reaction, kind of like an allergic reaction, but different. Jamie, you've got to pay attention to the way you react to things, the way you respond. Um, then I had to like stop and realize, okay, Jamie, this is you. This is a you thing, not a them thing. That's the hardest thing is admitting that it's you and not them. Because the world is a lot easier when we can blame everybody else for our problems, our reactions. Well, if she didn't say this, I wouldn't have done this. If she didn't blah, 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 I wouldn't have blah, blah, blah. Truth is, no. It's all on your shoulders. It's all uh, your responsibility. How you react is your responsibility. And I had to learn that from me. Because people would be like, Jamie, why'd you do that girl like that? I'm like, well, she started it. Well, Maybe, but you're in control of your reaction. And I was reacting out of habit. It was how I had always reacted, right? So why would I need to do anything any different? Uh, sometimes habits are what's hurting us. Our habits are what's hurting us. Then I had to like... Kind of once I realized that I was responding out of habit, I had to like mentally and emotionally and sometimes physically force myself to react differently. That is the hardest part because now you've got to enact change. Somebody provokes you at the during the holidays, your typical reaction is to clap back, to walk out, to whatever. Now you've got to stop. And, and realize that it's coming from you. Your reaction is the only thing you can control. You've got to stop it. Not only do you have to stop it, but you have to like reassess the way you react to people and actually make change, which is so hard when all they do is push your buttons. I shared this with you to say that my habits for the way I was dealing with people were hurting me. They just were. I wasn't growing. I wasn't getting any closer to the woman I wanted to become. And I wanted to be different. I wanted to be a person in control of her own emotions. I wanted to be a person who could control the way she reacted. And that took a lot of work. Getting to the place of being able to say, that's not my story to tell, took a lot of work. Years was so hard so oh. first and foremost when someone says something to you that provokes you I want you to notice the way it makes you feel get a hold of your emotion notice it acknowledge it talk through it with yourself so that you can be aware of what this person, what control they have over you. Then I want you to realize the way your habit is encouraging you to respond from habit. Now you can realize it like, okay, she said this and this is what my habit wants me to do. Now you got to reassess before you react. You got to think, no, nope, I don't want to react from habit anymore. I want to be different. So you got to put the work in. Now I got to Google gallbladder because I don't know even what the, that is or what mine could be. But I'm not feeling good. That I could tell you. Um, trust me when I tell you the habits you're holding on to are what is hurting you. Okay. Um. And I want better for you. So notice how it makes you feel. Notice what your reaction is. Your immediate reaction is what. And then I want you to realize why you react that way. And then I want you to reassess what's a better way to react so you can break that habit. I have to do it. I put all the work in. It sucks. So I'm just going to tell you now, it sucks. Sucks. 
Um, all right. I love you guys so much. I got to get dressed. Um, I'm going to Google gallbladder. I'm on it. Don't worry. I'm going to look it up. I love you guys so much today. Have a great, great day.